Hello, this is Jamie Magrich. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card. I'm using quite a bit of product. I know it's a simple card. I've got a lot of inks here. Evening Evergreen, Bumblebee, Fresh Freesia, Soft Succulent, Pacific Point, and Polished Pink. This way so you can actually see them. down this way so there. I have some water and a paintbrush. This is a water brush that actually works well. Supplies. I have a, a very vanilla card base, five and a half by eight and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. I have a piece of watercolor paper in which to I'll get into that. I have another piece of Whisper White, which is four and one eighth by five and three eighths, just a hair smaller than the front. A second piece of white, which is on um, two and three quarters by four and a quarter. It's just a scrap, so uh, big enough to uh, stamp my sentiment on, and a scrap of black. I'm going to be using this dye here from Potted Succulents. I'm going to be using um, the Meadow dyes. I'm going to use this one, this one, and this one, and this one for the black. Okay. Using the brick and mortar 3D embossing folder, and I'm going to emboss this piece with that 3D embossing folder. And I want it to be so the bricks look like they're stacked like it's a wall this way. So the it's going to be in the folder this way, long long ways, instead of not this way. And then I'm using a sentiment, a little hello from me to you, from Pansy Patch. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment, then we can do all of our cutting at once. So I'm going to bring in my sentiment, and evening evergreen... This is one of the new in colors. It's going to be one of my favorite colors. I love this color. I'm going to stamp this right in the center of this card. Perfect. And I'm going to bring this die in. And I'm going to center that on there. Okay, cut that out. So I'm going to uh, shut you off and I'm going to go ahead and cut all these pieces and emboss this one. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've got all those pieces cut. I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to the front of my card. Just so it's one less piece on my desk. This is the embossed piece, the brick and mortar. It's just going to be the tiniest little border because it's a sixteenth of an inch smaller. Alright, so there's the front of my card. I'm going to put these two aside for now. With that, I'm going to bring in this piece and I'm leaving them in. It's cut all the way through. But it just makes it a little bit easier to do this next part. Move this out of the way because we're done with that. And I'm bringing my water and some blocks. I'm going to start with soft succulent. I'm going to 
take it, it's a clean block. Get some ink on it. Probably don't need this much, but. And my water brush. And what I'm going to do, or your paintbrush, and this is not a Stampin' Up! brand one. I haven't purchased those yet. I'm going to put water, this is watercolor paper. I'm gonna, all the green area here, I'm gonna cover with water. And I'm not worrying about going over the edges. I want it wet, but I don't want it puddling. Okay, then I'm gonna pick up some of this color and I'm gonna drop it in there. Let the paper do what it needs to do. Okay. I'm going to add some on this one. This is going to be all green, so I'm not going to worry too much about it uh, having green in it already. But if you're changing colors or you make sure you clean off your paintbrush. Okay, and then I'm going to come back in with this green. You might have to do a couple layers to get the intensity you want. I'm going to start with a softer color. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing here on this one. All the parts that are going to be leaves, that's where a little bit are stems, that's where it's a little bit trickier. There's some that are flowers, some that are not. Color it in with the All right, I'm going to bring in a cloth. Make it up. Let's add just a little bit more in here. If there's still some on there. Okay. Wipe that off. Make sure it's clean. Now I'm going to pick up a little bit of evening evergreen on one side of it. Don't need much. I'm going to pick up a little bit of Pacific Point on the other side. Well, let's just use another block. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm going to water this down a little. And then I'm going to add some of this. I want quite a dark color on this one. So I'm going to go in. Add quite a bit of this evening evergreen on this tall, leafy one. Doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be all cult, you know, the same. I'm just dabbing color in and letting it do what it needs to do. Okay, now on this one, I'm going to bring in some of this blue and some of the uh, green. I'm going to bring my rag in. I'm going to clean my rag, my brush off. I want to add some more of that water in there. Oh, I didn't get it clean, but that's all right. And I'm going to touch in little bits of both of those colors. So I get that nice variation in color. This one is just going to be mostly this lighter green. I'm just going to add a little bit of the darker green 
I'm going to turn it this way along the stem. Okay. All right. I'm going to put this aside for a minute. Make sure my brush is clean this time. All right, and I'm going to come in with. Uh, let's do the pink one first. Patricia and Bumblebee. And I want some yellow on one side, and then the Patricia on the other side. Make sure you don't touch them on on this. You don't want the yellow in the fresh freesia and vice versa, so probably better off using two blocks, but okay. Close these back up. Okay, now I'm gonna start with the yellow. I'm gonna do all the yellow flowers on this one. Paint those in. Okay, then I'm going to do the center of this flower. I want it to be, let's turn it over so you can, ooh, it's leaking through. It's all right, that's why I'm on a plastic surface. You want it kind of flat on the bottom and domed here on the top. Okay, now I'm going to clean that yellow off. I'm going to go into the pink and I'm going to do pink on or it's like a lavender color. I'm stroking this one on because I actually want the petals to look like they're stroked. I'm not wetting it first like I did with the other ones. Stroking those petals in. I need a little bit of green in the center to make it a little bit stand out a little bit more. some pink on this one. Okay, now I'm going to let that dry. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to put a second coat of color, like strokes on these petals maybe, and maybe a little bit on these yellow flowers, just to give them a little bit of something else. And that's all I'm going to do. Do these yellow ones first since they're here. Get a little bit of green on this one. I'm going to take a little bit of yellow and add it into the stem here. Just a little bit, not a lot. It looks like a hot mess right now, but it'll look really pretty once you're done with it. Okay, I'm going to wipe this block off. Make sure it's completely clean. I'm going to come in with polished pink. A little tiny bit of that. I'm going to add a little bit of polished pink to this freesia flower. And again, I'm just doing those strokes. So it looks like petals. Let's 
is still a little bit damp, so it's going to bleed out. I'm not doing anything fancy or difficult. Okay. And we're going to let that dry. Definitely have more blue than I needed. Get these blocks off. This I'm going to need to put a little stampin' mist on there. And it comes right clean. Okay. Let's wipe them off for now so I can move on to the next part. All right, let's pop these out. Let them dry. It's probably better to let them dry first, and then pop them out, because they're kind of delicate now that they're wet. Hit them with my heat tool for a second to dry them. Just so we can move on to the next step. And this one has pieces in it. Let's pop those out. Just turn it on the first setting, one. Just give it a little bit of heat to see if I can dry these a little. Doesn't need much, but don't stick well if you're wet. this card together. If you want more details in here you could go in with your colored pencils and add more detail or with your lens. And before I get going let me wash this off. Stampin' Mist. Pink your rig. one down here and that third how we have the thirds it's right on that line this one's going to go a little bit to the left of that line this one's going to go a little bit to the right I actually want one of them a little bit taller than the other like that and we're going to glue those down. And the wet glue. Start by adding the glue on the back. Just little bits on the little tiny dots on the each little leaf. However you want to do it. You could use the sponge. That would probably work too, but I find this is easier for me. I don't end up with glue all over the front of the piece. Here. Let's put this one on next.
Now there's a space here that's a little more open, so that's where I'm going to try to put this flower in that space there a little bit. Okay, and this one. And once I get it started, you don't really have to squeeze it anymore. You just maintain the squeeze you have and just use the glue that's on the tip. I'm not squeezing more, I'm just holding the squeeze, if that makes any sense. glue down and bring in some dimensionals. I'm going to use these edge pieces up, put them on the back of this. here. I'm going to cover the bottom of these stems, but I want the greeting to be a little bit more over to this side, so it's not quite centered on there. Okay, then I'm going to come in with my little butterfly, and bow up his wings. A little bit of glue on his body on the back. And I want him to be down here on this corner, but I don't want it to hide the sentiment. So I want it to kind of frame out that a little hello. There we go. There's the card we just made together. Here's the one I did previously. Like I said, you could add different colors. You could come back in with your pencils and add details in there if you wanted to. Well, thank you so much for joining me today at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope you can find a little bit of time to play with some stamps, ink, and paper.